Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. This time we r dive right into uh, task 5 of sector 14, the puzzle sector, and talk about my solution strategy to this task. So if I initially execute this one, um, I get in a list of integers and the respected result is like this. So if I have four zeros, it's one. If I have a one and three zeros, it's two. So I started my default approach, uh, which is admittedly, why does why you not work? Um, maybe I had to get out of here again and into it again. No, something just broke. Let's reload the page. Uh, 14, 5. Retry. Better. So, uh, again, I, I used my default approach saying, like, okay, if list. Oh, it's an array, so I can. If the first list element is. What, what am I doing here? Is zero, then I'm going to return one. If the first list element is one, I'm going to return two. And let's see what's the result of this. Okay, so I get some more values here, and I see okay, if there's only ones and only twos, then I'm supposed to return uh, one actually. So it occurred to me pretty quick, after like six rounds or so, I got it completed, that uh, I'm supposed to compute the number of different values in the array, which I originally did using the C sharp link method distinct and then account. Um, and I'm going to do this this time as well because it's just way easier. As always, I have to step out and step in again to switch to C-sharp, right? But then I should be able to just return... Uh, nice, now it broke again. Or maybe not? Yes, maybe? Don't know? Wait, refresh, damn it. Switch to C-sharp. Okay, so let's try it in Java. The simplest thing to do is to walk over the list and say in i in list and no, actually I can't do it like that, but I can do it similarly if I say in i zero i smaller list length i plus plus and then I walk over the prefix of the list zero and j smaller i j plus plus um, and then how do we do this in the simplest way if i equals j then we're going to say that dub is set to true where dub is a boolean variable it's initially false and down here if dub is if not dub then I'm going to increase my result value that's quite some code to compute what we want, but let's check out if I get the best result. Uh, not return. If not up, result plus plus, and in the end return results. Let's check the skill rating I get for this solution. It's quite long as compared to the 
uh, to the link solution I could implement and apparently it doesn't work my result is 4 I walk over all the eyes so I walk over the 0 first case I have the 0 oh, 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 oh how stupid can one be list i list j okay we try maybe this time it actually really works um looks better now let's see what's the skill rating that pax assigned me for this solution as i said it's quite long but impressively enough i get the full skill rating for this one uh so this is the java solution the c sharp solution i'm for some reason unable to show you uh, is just a one-liner saying list dot distinct dot count but uh, I'm also content with a full skill rating uh, Java solution. This is it for today thanks a lot for watching if you liked it please give me a thumbs up if not drop me a comment or send me a message let me know what you think and have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.